Hello and welcome to our next video in flow measurement. This time we're talking about ultrasonic flow measurement. Measurement. Ultrasonic flow measurement. Okay. It's a great, great thing. Uh, to, 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 to measure to measure flow okay one thing is very easy yeah so the measurement of the time basically it works that way that we do have a, a sender and we do have an emitter and they are at one axis okay basically it works that way that if we have, here we have flow, yeah, that the sound in this direction is much faster than this direction because this here is in stream, this here is against stream. Yeah, this is why they have to be set apart yeah, to measure the difference from this to this and from this to this. Both are sender and and receiver. There is a separate video about this. Exactly this, I will. Uh, apply a link. I will give you a link. Watch this. Yeah, it's very, it's very good. Explained. Yeah? Measurement of the time. Okay. Then there is a second option. Yeah. Using the Doppler effect. Yeah. Doppler effect is not something which you experience after drinking. Two liters of wine. <laughs> Maybe I should explain. In low Austria, sometimes a two liter bottle, double liter bottle of wine is called a Doppler. Okay, so the Doppler effect is something else. Doppler effect is frequency shift, frequency shift because of moving things. Yeah? We know the Doppler effect very well from the siren, from the motor or whatever yeah when something is passing by us we hear even if it's traveling the same speed yeah because this high pitch noise is simply when this sound is approaching to us and the low pitch noise is simply when it's getting away yeah? and exactly those things if we do have here elements inside, yeah, which is not, this is not clear water or something like this, then we can send out something. We get back an echo, yeah, and the echo has a frequency shift on it, yeah, depending on the speed of this particle, particles. Okay, this runtime method, this is Doppler method. Big advantages in both cases are real huge tubes are possible, yeah? six meters, yeah? contactless, yeah? high, th th there's no wear, yeah? this means great lifespan, yeah. and there is also clamp on design possible, which means you don't have to destroy or build something in your tube. This is also the end, of course, nothing inside, yeah, no, no pressure drop. Yeah? The disadvantages are that the, the profile, the streaming profile, the velocity profile of the stream. So if this is strange a little bit, then we do have maybe an issue. Yeah? So this is, this is depending on the streaming profile very. The accuracy is not extremely high yeah. and if there is then something on the walls, yeah, it must not be rust, can just be some stain or whatever, this will also influence the measurement. This by the way is much more accurate than this one. Ultrasonic flow measurement. Like I said, watch the video, this thing here, I hope you understood. Advantages, disadvantages are also clear, I guess. Next time we're talking about vortex flow measurement.
flow there are a lot of flow measurements out there why because flow is a great point to measure yeah everybody needs to measure flow almost everybody so next time vortex flow measurement yeah? for this time thank you very much goodbye